Good day Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. I am Misha the Psychotic Psychedelic Gypsy and this is your weekly reading for December 18th to the 24th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Six of spades. Four of hearts. Nine of spades. And the Queen of Spades. Okay, so your general energy this week is a warning. There is an instigator. Somebody is very resentful of you and you're going to be dealing with them the whole week. They're going to try to put a monkey wrench in your plans. So if you got some kind of plans going on uh, this week, prepare for somebody to be infiltrating and trying to screw you up on this. And what you need to do is you need to know all the facts uh, about this person and why they're doing what they're doing and who they are and all that good stuff once you figure out who it is, which I don't think it'll take you long to figure it out. You're going to figure it out pretty quickly who it is that's trying to put a monkey wrench in your plans. Uh, but just know all the facts. That way when you confront them, you have the facts. You know, you're not tripping over your words trying to explain yourself of why, you know, you know what they're up to or you know how they're doing you and also keep in mind that this can be a child you know because children get resentful and and they can become instigators quite quickly uh so you kind of want to know the facts because you want to teach the child why it's not right to do such a thing you know so facts facts are are definitely needed um so yeah at the beginning of the week uh looks like you're gonna be traveling um away uh, and if you're not traveling, then you need to travel. And this is like as far from United States to uh, Japan, you know, or um, as close as from your house to a museum. Uh, either way, you need to travel. And by traveling, you're going to uh, get peace of mind from it. You're going to get something new out of life from it. So definitely moving on with your life. You need to move on with your life uh, this week and travel uh, no matter what it is. I mean, if you are traveling, awesome. Then whatever you're traveling towards, you know, it's going to bring you peace of mind. And this would be something new that you're traveling to. You know, it won't be something that you've already done or places that you've already been or whatever like that. You know, this will be traveling to something new in your life. And it's going to bring new life, you know. So, yeah, definitely travel if, if you're not already traveling this week. Uh, in the middle of the week, it uh, looks like you need to retreat and refocus. Uh, past thoughts are going to be overwhelming you. You're going to have disappointment and unstable emotions. Uh, you need time to heal right now. So, when you're, like, say if you're into a heavy conversation with somebody, make sure to... Uh, remove yourself once you feel like it's just becoming too overwhelming you know uh, excuse yourself I have to take a minute go and take some breathers you know do whatever it is that you need to do in order to refocus you know uh, when you have downtime make sure that downtime is used you know um, in a really really positive way like don't just use your downtime to sit and watch TV or binge food or whatever. You want to, like, really make this really good time for you, you know, uh, a bubble bath or, you know, even going to the gym or what, whatever it is that refocuses your mind and your soul and everything, you know, do those things, you know. Um, you know, really, really make your, your extra time... Uh, you know, good, you know, I'm trying to figure out the word where I'm trying to let, 
here. I'm trying to figure out the word that I'm trying to want to use, but I can't think of it right now. But just make quality, quality. Make sure that your extra time is quality time spent. There we go. So definitely don't just sit around and not do anything when you have time. You know, actually do something that heals you. Uh, at the end of the week, there's going to be the death of something. Now, this can be the death of a person, but usually it's the death of something. Uh, an ideal, a relationship, whatever. And yeah, this is there's an ending coming here at the end of the week. Something's going to die off. And even though almost all deaths have some sort of emotion, emotional upheaval to deal with it, there's like, you know, it's sad or, you know, whatever. Uh, the thing is, is that what you need to keep in mind is that whatever this is that's dying off has been causing you fear and worry and nightmares and, and just all around problems. And with it dying off, in the end, after the emotional upheaval and all that stuff, uh, it, it, it will turn into a good thing. You know, this, this is a good thing, you know, that this is dying off because it's been causing you all these things. Um, so, I mean, you can take that how you want, you know, but either way, yes, the death of whatever this is, is going to be actually a good thing for you. Uh, I feel like the, whatever's dying off, I feel like this has to do with the instigator and I feel like this is what's causing you past thoughts and overwhelmed disappointment. I think it's all whatever this death is, whatever this is that's dying off. Um, I feel like it's these things here, this person, I feel like it's a relationship that's going to die off. That's just how I feel. Um, let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Universe speak, spirits guide, what needs to be known, what lessons need to be learned. Oh, all right. You got the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody that helps other people. Somebody that helps them to grow. Somebody that helps them to uh, learn things and whatnot. And the Queen of Pentacles also, a lot of times, is an oracle or a tarot card reader. Or it's somebody that's connected to uh, spirit and universe, you know. So I feel like this person is going to help you in some some way you know that there's a person that's going to help you that is connected to spirit and connected to the universe and um yeah they might also have something to do with your travels who knows but uh either way uh when you need help you know when you're dealing with this and you're dealing with the monkey wrench and you're dealing with the death you know there is somebody out there for you that will listen to you. There is somebody out there that will will hold your hand and help you learn or help you get through something. Uh, and they will most definitely be um, connected to, to spirit and universe. So you do have somebody. You have somebody that's going to be there for you. So don't don't worry. There, there will be somebody for you. Uh, so there you go. I hope this resonates, and if it does, hit that like button, and if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next week, and until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.